Happy lunch hour, gang. Okay, we are still in September, and it is still National Preparedness Month. And so I wanted to talk about something here real quick that comes up as a topic, came up on Saturday night's live stream. And again, I want to talk about water. All right, pretty simple here. Now, some of you guys are on municipal water, some of us are on well water, whatever it's going to be, right? And storing water is basically the most difficult prep you can get because water takes up a lot of space, water is heavy, and water goes bad, right? Now, in my case, for example, I've got a setup where I can get water out of my well if the grid goes down, the power goes out, whatever, you know, I've got solar backup to it. But we don't know what the effect of an EMP is, and maybe somehow that fries my solar setup, and I don't have that. So now I need another way to get clean water to drink. You're not going to store enough water to last you for years. You're going to have to come up with an alternative solution. Now, a good solution, of course, is collecting rainwater. But if you looked at my yard right now, you'd say you're going to be thirsty because it hasn't rained here in well over a month. Hey, my yard looks like a straw field right now. That's how dry it is. Greatest laid plans of mice and men to collect rainwater, but if it doesn't rain, you've got nothing to collect. So now you're going to have to find a water source somewhere. Hopefully... You're near a stream, a lake, a pond, something where you can get water, right? But now you need to clear, clean it, make it potable, make it drinkable. You're not going to drink water straight out of the lake. Maybe you try to drink it straight out of a, a running stream, which has a chance to be a little cleaner. You're certainly not going to drink it out of my pond because, oh, I don't know, you know, what's in there? leaves, fish poop, God knows what. Who knows what they're spraying out of the sky, right? Go back and think about East Palestine, Ohio last year with the, the chemical spill and talking about water there. Yeah, there wasn't anything that was safe. People had to leave to go find something to get water. They had to bring water in. And that was a small town in one state. Imagine this goes national or worldwide at that point, and there is no water purification plant near you to get it. You got to do it on your own. Now, there's many ways to do this. Sure, people have life straws. It's good prep to have. Have you ever tried drinking out of a life straw? It's possible, but it's difficult. And of course, you're going to get a little bit of water, enough to sustain life, but you're not cooking in it. You're not washing or doing whatever. Drinking, maybe you get enough. All right, so there's that. People have a Berkey, another good idea, but a big Berkey will set you back a significant amount of money, $600, $700 for a big one, okay, to get you six or seven gallons of water maybe. There's a whole bunch of ways. You can boil it, right? Okay, That takes time, and another precious resource that you're going to have is fuel, be it propane, be it gas, be it even wood. Okay, That's still going to be something that you're going to have to expend to clean your water. All right, nothing's perfect. I want to revisit something we talked about about a year ago, and that's this thing. Okay, this is the Ida Hill water purifier. If you've been around long enough, this was the one that we sent, you guys donated, and we sent a bunch of these, like a couple of dozen of them, to Maui last year with the wildfires so they could purify water. Okay, the company donated a whole bunch of uh, purifiers, we sent a bunch of money. You know, so the whole thing. But this was the one that we did, all right? And, you know, one of the things that impressed me about Idaho was they were the 
company that jumped in when Oprah and The Rock wouldn't give away any of their billions of dollars. Idaho, little company, came in and said, we're going to send a bunch of water purifiers to them. And you remember, we did that. Okay. Well, this is Gen 2 of the water purifier. Now, if you go back, and I'll link it below if you want to watch my full review of me testing this, and that was where I had actually got a pitcher of water out of my pond, ran it through the system, and drank the water. You can see the difference in color, how it went from yellow, and you couldn't see through it to crystal clear. So we know it worked. But this is Gen 2, okay? And they've made a couple of upgrades to it. They improved the water outlet component, uh, which is here. These are your two water outlet components, okay? Uh, so it's just kind of like a, a push in instead of a screw in. So it makes it a little bit easier, uh, just making it more convenient. And the uh, filters in this are bigger now. So that's also a good thing, okay? Filters are real simple. They just drop in here. So here's the deal on this. In case you have ever thought about it, you're new to the channel. Maybe you forgot that we talked about these things, okay? But this is the only, only one that I know of at least, portable, rechargeable water purifier out there, okay? Yes, it's electric. As you can see right here, there's a little USB charger. And you go, okay, if the power goes out, what do you do? Well, that's when you charge it via solar, guys, okay? So if you got your solar panels, you can hook that up to whatever little power source you have, and you can charge this because this runs off of two 6,000 ma batteries, all right? And you'll get 2,000 cycles out of this. So if you think about it, if you use this every day, ran it out, nah, you'd get six years of use out of this if you used it every day. So yeah, long term. It is reverse osmosis, charcoal filtered, whole nine yards. It will reduce 99 or eliminate 99.99% of any of the uh, nasties in there, if you will. I mean, all the way down to PVC, uh, hydrocarbons, any sort of uh, chemicals, fluoride, whole nine yards, okay? 99.99% pure, down to 0 0.0001 microns, okay? So that's how clean this is going to get you, right? Is it perfect? Well, it's good, it's great, but it's not perfect, okay? You're not going to, not that you'd want to anyway, purify the water to take your shower or something like that. No, you're not gonna water your garden. You're not gonna do this. A full charge on here has a max capacity of nine gallons. The old one had seven, okay? That's why I said bigger filters, okay? So you're getting nine gallons per charge on this. It will process about 17 ounces of water per minute. So no, it's not going to be super fast. You're not gonna go, hey, you know what? Here's nine gallons of water and I'm gonna have fresh water in two minutes. No, you'll have fresh water in about a half an hour, okay? But hopefully you are smart enough to filter the water before you're going to immediately need it, especially if you've got a little cooler or something like that, so you can actually have cold water. What a concept, right? You can filter any fresh water with this, whether it's lake, whether it's pond, whether it's stream, whatever. Do not try to use this with salt water, okay? That's a total different animal, okay? Don't, don't try to purify salt water in this, all right? Uh, Charging wise, it's not the fastest charge. It will take somewhere between two and three hours to charge it via this little USB-C uh, port here, which is faster than the old one, which charged at about three and a half hours, okay? So yes, you are going to be able to 
keep this charge, charge it a little quicker. Same as the other one though, and I mentioned this in the other video, you cannot use it while you are charging it, all right? So you have to charge it, then you have to unplug the charger, and then you can run off the battery and do it. Once you finish processing, charge it up again so it's fully charged and ready to go. As for portability, this is the nice part about this because being battery operated, you can take this to the water source rather than carrying all the water back. Why? Again, if you go back and watch the video that when I reviewed it, you're going to separate clean water from dirty water. Why not do that at the water source? So and let's just say it's 50-50. You want, you need to fill a gallon jug of water. Well, why would you want to fill a gallon jug, bring it all, carry it all the way back, filter it out and now you've only got a half a gallon of drinkable water and a half a gallon of water that maybe is good for watering the gardens or something. Why not filter it in place because you need drinking water. You can dump the dirty water right back into the stream that you need or on the ground or whatever and you can go back carrying a full gallon of clean drinkable water. That's the point. Okay. So reason we're going to do this is for advantage here. Ida Hill has what they call their membership days going on, and it's going to start on the 13th, which is what? Friday, I believe. Okay. Running through the 20th. They have a sale of these going on right now where instead of being 399 bucks, it's $299. So right there, there's 25% off. Not bad. Okay. For us, we get another 25% off, and I will leave you the coupon code below. And so at that point, you can get something like this for about two and a quarter. That's what, a third of the cost of a Berkey? Yeah, okay. How long are the filters going to last? Well, you need to replace the filters every once in a while. There's no question about that, but you can get as many of those as you want. The, let's see, the reverse osmosis filter, it's a two filter system, will do between 600 and 800 gallons be before it needs to be replaced. The hybrid filter, you know, this is your charcoal and everything, will filter 300 to 400 gallons before it needs to be replaced. Now, let me qualify that again. It depends on how clean the water you're starting with is. Okay, if you're trying to filter out water, you know, clean water out of sludge, uh, obviously you're going to burn up a filter a lot faster. But your typical pond water, lake water, stream water, or whatever, uh, the 300 to 400 hybrid and the 600 to 800 RO, pretty good guesstimates on there, or pretty good specs. So if you're interested in getting one of these, which some sort of water purification you better have, okay? I will leave the link below and of course the coupon code below so you can take care, uh, you know, take care of it, get one for yourself. And of course, because it's prepared in this month, we are going to give two of these away and we're gonna do it tonight on the live stream, okay? So one of the first things that you're gonna to need to remember is the letter J. I'm gonna to need to see that, okay? But if you want to enter to win one of these, under this video, what you'll need to post is the state in which you live. Of course, it's got to be the lower 48 for that. That's typical. All right. And then, of course, the aforementioned comment. The live stream is tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, same as it always is on a Tuesday night. All right. We will draw the names live. The person whose name I draw, provided it's a valid entry, will have three minutes to announce their presence and they will get this shipped. Speaking of, because of the other one, the generator that we we're trying to give, we gave away last Saturday, I finally did hear from the person. So yes, that one's done. Okay. Person will have three minutes to say they're here and we will have two winners. All right. Now, 
I want to remind everybody of this because this came up again here in the last couple of times. That is the only way you are ever going to win something on my channel. It will be done in a live stream. I never do giveaways in videos. I'm never going to send you an email. I'm never going to put a comment in a comment section somewhere saying you won. Unless you see a comment that says, in a black circle, pinball preparedness, it ain't me. Pinball preparedness one isn't me. Pinball preparedness two isn't me. Pinball preparedness 467 isn't me. None of that. The only way you can ever possibly win is if your name is drawn on a live stream and you are there. Period. Do not do anything with those comments or anything except report them to YouTube as impersonation and YouTube will take care of it relatively quickly about getting them banned. Okay. They've figured out some way to hide themselves from me so I can't see them in the comments. Don't know how, so it's going to come on you. But I'm just telling you flat out, the only way you're going to win is on a live stream. Those of you guys that have been here long enough know that, Okay, but I'm talking to new people. So, that being said, if you want one of these, you can buy one for about two and a quarter between the 13th and the 20th. Okay, That is when this membership day stuff is going on. That's when that coupon code is going to be good. Just those days. All right. So don't try to go out and get it today or whatever. It's not going to work yet. It's got to wait a couple of days. If you're interested in winning them, winning one, we will be the preview show for the Donald Trump Kamala Harris debate. So you got a choice. You can either watch this mug or you can sit there and listen to some idiot like George Stephanopoulos and David Muir talk for an hour beforehand. Just saying. Have a good afternoon. We'll see you tonight. Pinball out. Oh, yeah, my salute's better than Kamala Harris's.